everyone and welcome to another art book overview. This is Sweater Morph of Love, Haruko Ichikawa's art book, mainly containing works from her Land of the Lustrous series, but some of her other titles as well. This book was recently released in November of 2017 and is 128 pages long, A4 sized. And like with all of my art book overviews, I'm not going to show off every single page, just uh, a majority of them it gives you a good idea of the type of artwork you can expect from this book and from this artist, um, as well as sort of how the book is put together overall. So getting straight into it. We have some beautiful Land of the Lustrous covers here. A wonderful manga series if you haven't given it a shot. I've heard immensely good things about the recent anime adaptation as well, although I have yet to finish it myself. It's a very interesting series that doesn't necessarily uh, go in the direction that you expect it to. and. Personally, I find Ichikawa's artwork just really, really, really beautiful. I love her style. Um, I don't necessarily think this series would work with other artist styles. The, the way she actually developed her character designs with the long legs and androgynous feel to them, um, it really does emphasize the characters and makes them very unique comparatively to some other art styles and series with maybe similar themes. As well as the actual design of her characters and of the setting um, or the scenes around the characters, you can really see, uh, especially in these black and white ones, the interesting um, gradient and fractal uh, sort of emphasis within her artwork, especially for the series having inhuman gem characters. I find her scenery amazing. Just the sense of atmosphere she can pour into a page is just honestly fantastic. We have some sort of rough page layouts for Lustrous. And Land of the Lustrous especially, not I, I can't speak for her other works because I haven't read them, but there's so much show, don't tell in them. You can understand the scene and the action perfectly without really any dialogue. Um, and I think this artwork really shows how she's capable of that. You don't need words to necessarily understand the character's thoughts, emotions, and the, what the scene is setting up. The other thing I've noticed from her work, Land of the Lustrous and some of these other pieces, is the intriguing um, body horror-esque aspect of a lot of her, her pieces. Um, there's an interesting and dark twist that she puts onto a lot of her artwork to show certain things within the story. And we have reached the end. It's not a super long book. 
Um, and it did go out of print once, but is back in print. This was the second printing of this book. Like with every art book, there is a informational piece at the back, so it tells you where these were pieces were first published, when, that sort of thing. And then we have our back. So that was Haruko Ichikawa's Sweater Morph of Love, a absolutely brilliant art book by a brilliant artist. I highly recommend this one, especially if you're a fan of Ichikawa. Um, it is a little bit on the pricier side for how many pages it is, but um, I think the investment is worth it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful book, as you saw. Like uh, always, I'm going to link in the description with the Amazon Japan link. Um, so if you are wanting your own copy, you can get it from there. And yes, I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye till then.